Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be going through and why uh, the Google Play Music is far better than iTunes, Pandora, and Spotify. So uh, first let me explain um, what each iTunes, Pandora, and Spotify bring to the table and then what this brings all together and how it combines them. Uh, so first of all, um, what iTunes is, as we all kind of know, it's a way to download your music, organize all of your music, and um, just basically continue to play them on all your devices. Uh, so that's what uh, iTunes does. For Pandora, you have an app that essentially you play radio stations and it basically learns uh, the genres you like and then the artists you like to in order to create new playlists. You do this through uh, liking uh, your music that you hear and so that it can better learn the music you like. And then we had Spotify. Spotify essentially took this to the next level, uh, took Pandora's suggestions to the next level and charged $10 a month for it. And what this did is basically um, gave you all songs um, that you have. So you can uh, essentially get songs uh, that just came out, say a new CD that just came out. You can get um, a new, like the new uh, Tyrese uh, CD or the new Eve CD or anything like that. And uh, essentially, uh, even download that to your device and have it uh, playing uh, a streaming service. So you can create playlists and all that kind of stuff and you can uh, keep all of the streaming music on Spotify. Uh, the thing is, of course, you have to use Spotify to use this. And now we have Google Play Music All Access. Um, so, uh, first of all, just before I leave here, um, this service, or actually, well, we'll go to that after. So, Google Play Music essentially does all of this in a better fashion. So for one, it does replace iTunes uh, and the fact that Google Music allows you to bring over even all of your iTunes music or all of your, you know, uh, Napster and Torrent and all that kind of uh, music from way back in the day um, and now and put it all into one cloud storage. Uh, Google Music takes 20,000 songs, so you have plenty of songs that you can upload uh, of your own personal library, and it also adds all playlists that you had. So whether you had playlists on Windows Media Player, iTunes, or anything else, uh, you can actually port over all those playlists as well, so you don't lose anything really. Um, so that was a really cool feature that Google Music had. Um, Google Music also does learn from your music, again with the uh, traditional like thumbs up and like thumbs down uh, to learn what kind of music you like. However, it uh, recently not only did this, but it took a step up into uh, Spotify's area, which um, it basically allowed you to stream music with all access. So all access allows you to create radios, um, based on uh, a song genre or anything like that so I can um, create say a s radio out of a song like uh, Fake It uh, which is a song I listen to and I can make a radio station out of that and all songs like it uh, both my personal music as well as the music that I have to get um, the music that I want to download or, or that I don't have and that basically I don't have to download essentially I can also, however, see a new artist um, featured or um, new releases that just came out and I can add these entire albums onto an existing playlist that I have. So this is really the next level where you take your uh, not only streaming music but and you can save it onto your device but you can actually keep it all in one place. So you can actually keep it with your own music and add it to your existing playlist. So this is really nice, like if uh, I want to have a new song from here, I could simply just add that to my playlist and very easily have it on my playlist. So it's just a really nice way. You can even add it to your library just so it's a part of your library. Um, and then you can even save it onto your device. Uh, again, these are just all really nice features that um, you have the ability 
to uh, do very easily and very quickly. You can also see other people's playlists. So you can see other people's playlists that they've made. And if I wanted to add any songs from here, say if I wanted to add, uh, you know, this song onto my uh, car music playlist, so I can add to playlist, and there you go. Now it's added to my playlist. So it's really that easy to add um, any song you see to your own personal playlist. And it's just a really nice uh, feature that you can have um, very easily and very quickly. So it's just a, essentially a way to keep all of your music and to discover new music very easily. Um, you'll also see uh, Listen Now and Explore, which again just allows you to see uh, what kind of songs that it thinks you're going to like. And uh, in terms of the way it looks, it's really nice. Um, very easily to go to the next song, you can actually swipe and see what your next song will be. And then you can even change uh, what you're called your cue um, simply by, if you go to your music right here, you can hit that button right there. And either move a song up on the cue if you want, or you can actually uh, swipe away. If I didn't want to hear this one next, I could swipe that away and swipe that away and then they are removed from the queue, uh, but not the playlist itself. So it's just really, a uh, really nice uh, player. I definitely recommend you get it, especially if you have an Android device, there's no reason not to get this, especially because for the next month, you have a really nice sale on this. So let me actually close this out. Uh, you have a really nice sale on this, and that is for, you get a 30-day free trial for it. Um, so you can see if you do like this and if it does benefit you. Um, and after that, if you get it before June 14th, uh, you can actually just pay $7.99 for it a month. After June 14th, this will become $9.99 a month. So essentially this is not only better than things like Spotify, but cheaper. And it combines uh, your streaming music with your personal music um, that you have organized and makes it all into one. So this is the... Uh, best music app out there. Just plain and simple and the best way for you to get music and have music. Um, I really recommend it to anyone. I mean, $7.99 a month is a lot cheaper than just buying like one album a month, uh, which are generally anywhere from $6.99 to, you know, uh, $13.99. I mean, it adds up very quickly. So yeah, that's what I recommend, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions about uh, Google Play Music All Access, feel free to ask. This has been R-I-C-K-Y. The Android guy.